And if any police officer shows up tomorrow to say anything other than enjoy your afternoon, there's going to be issues, at least from me. I'm done. Okay. We're not playing games anymore. So my advice to you would be to tell your cohorts there at the Spokane Valley Police Department to just stand down and let the people enjoy a beautiful afternoon at the park and not even show up. If anyone calls, you can tell them to mind their own business. I'm not threatening anything. I'm done. You guys are threatening us. This is a call to action in Spokane County and the surrounding areas. There's a picnic at Valley Mission Park in the city of Spokane Valley tomorrow, May 30th from 11 to 2. It's simply a picnic at a park. And of course, anyone is welcome to come to the park and join me and others from your community that are tired of these absurd orders keeping us from living our lives how we see fit. One of the organizers of the picnic reached out to myself and North Idaho Exposed because the city of Spokane Valley sent her a letter this week telling her the picnic would be in violation of the governor's orders. They also said they were going to send information about it to the Spokane Regional Health District and the Spokane Valley Police Department. We wanted to make sure no enforcers show up to harass or intimidate free people and coerce them into following His Highness King Inslee's orders against their will. So we decided it was time to go on the offensive and let these enforcers know this is the new normal. We tell them how things are going to be from now on. It's things like this that'll let us know whose side they're really on. The people's or the corporation's. Here's two phone calls we made. Consider it a little good cop, bad cop that North Idaho Exposed and I used to get the message across that we will no longer accept them ruling over us. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment telling us how you're helping to reclaim freedom in your area. And if you're in the Spokane area, we'll see you tomorrow, May 30th, between 11 and 2 at the Valley Mission Park in Spokane Valley. And it's supposed to be a beautiful day, so remember to bring your sunscreen. You can't give me the right to be a human being. I'm fine with that right. Now you can keep me from having that if you've got all the policemen and all the jobs on your side. Valley Police. Yeah, is the police chief available? For me? Is the police chief available? Uh, no, he's not. Okay. Um, I, I, I called earlier. I, probably, I think I talked to you actually about the the event tomorrow at the park at the Valley Mission Park. Oh yeah. Yeah, I called that number and no one called me back. So I just I just want to make sure that we didn't have any problems tomorrow. Yeah no. Yeah, I double checked with the guy that's um, handling that stuff. Okay. And the parks are open. Okay. Yeah, because I guess they the, they sent the lady that put this together a letter saying that. You know, they cited the governor's order and all this, and and they were. It's, uh, you know, they're 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 still limiting limiting it to like like more than fifty people. How many people are going to be here in that? Oh, it'll probably be more than fifty. Oh, it will be. I would imagine so. Okay. Uh, yeah, you might want to. You might want to let me let me get your name and number. Sure, sure. My name is Casey C A S E Y. Okay. And uh, the the uh, phone number is. And you're gonna have an event tomorrow. Yeah, there's an event. Uh, a lady put this event together. Basically, it's it's called. Uh, pay What's that? No, go ahead. Oh, I'm just calling to make sure that you know we didn't want to have any issues tomorrow. So. Right. What's the event called? Uh, yeah. Patri picnic Patriots something. Patriot Picnic or I think it's like Patriot Picnic or something like that. At Valley Mission Park? Yeah, at 11, I think 11 to 3. Okay, Casey. I'll work on this. I'll have somebody give you a call back. All right, How many numbers do you expect? I, you know, I don't know. I, I'm going to guess. Uh, I'd guess a couple hundred probably. Okay. So. So, and what was your name? Deputy Vucinich. Okay, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. All right. Take bye. care. Valley Police. Yeah, hi. This is Casey again. I just, I missed the call when it came in. I was in the bathroom. Um, oh, that's cool. Hi, Casey. Yeah, so I, I did some check-in. Um, a few different things. I don't know who's, who set this up, but, I mean, for a... Uh, an event like that, no numbers in the park, somebody should have gotten a permit from the parks department. Okay. 
And that's I, don't just, know if that, I don't know if you guys did that or not. I'm not sure either, to be honest with you. Um, um, is it just because of the COVID thing then? No, I mean, regardless of that, I mean, okay. any, any, big, any big function in the park where you're talking hundreds of people is going to require, you know, a permit. Okay. All right, but outside of that, it's 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 not uh, a big if deal. If you want to know the, the latest COVID rule, um, write this write this website down, and it'll give you the updated governor's requirements. Okay. It's coronavirus dot law for Washington dot gov. So coronavirus dot law dot gov. Okay. G-O-V. Okay. Well, thanks. So look I... that up. Look that up, and if it's if it's just something like you put together personally and have a bunch of people coming, and you know, I mean, if somebody calls the police, they call the police. Okay. All right. Just wanted to see kind of what the what the situation was on that. So. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Bye. Bye. Mm. Yeah. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, first of all, I just want to let you know you are on a recorded line. Uh, I'm just calling about. I'm I'm a little bit concerned. Uh, I was planning on attending a picnic in Mission Park tomorrow, and I understand I was just speaking with one of the people who kind of just put out the information that we're having this picnic, and she informed me that she received a letter from the city of Spokane, uh, telling her that I guess the people aren't allowed to have a picnic at the park. Uh, city, the city of Spokane Valley. Sorry. So I just yeah, wanted to make I, I get told, go. I told somebody references party. They need to check with the governor's updated orders, and uh, they have to go through the parks department to make sure they have the proper permits in accordance to whatever the governor's orders are. You have to have a permit to. You have to have a permit to have a picnic in the park. Uh, well, I think if it's a big event with hundreds of people. Oh, well, this is just, I mean, this was just someone saying, hey, let's have a picnic in the park. I mean, it's our park. So mainly I'm just calling to say, just to let you guys know, I hope you don't show up um, to do anything because we paid for these parks. We pay for all your salaries. You guys as a government and you are the enforcers have overstepped your bounds. So I just... What can I do for you? Well, I, I just want to make sure if I show up to a park tomorrow to, for a picnic that you guys aren't going to show up and harass me. I promise you I won't show up and harass you. All right. Well, I would like it that nobody in your... I understand you're not going to, but you're probably not working. I would like it if you would say no one from our department is going to as a representative. Well, I, you know what? I wish I could tell you that, but I guarantee you that there's a lot of people that live out there and that really have kind of twisted visions of the world and that if they call the police we might have to respond you, but I guarantee you that the police as a body are not going to show up to hang your picnic just to spoil your fun okay if called there for a reason there's a chance okay well that I, I like to hear that but I just in this day and age I'm sorry to say this, but you guys, as enforcers of the government, the government has overplayed its 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 hand. I'm done, and so are the rest of us. We're not playing games anymore. These are our parks. You guys stole money from us. And if any police officer shows up tomorrow to say anything other than enjoy your afternoon, there's going to be issues, at least from me. I'm done. Okay. We're not playing games anymore. So my advice to you would be to tell your cohorts there at the Spokane Valley Police Department to just stand down and let the people enjoy a beautiful afternoon at the park and not even show up. If anyone well, calls, you, you can tell them to mind mean, their own I'm business. Like I'm not threatening anything. I'm done. You guys are threatening well, us. You guys, you guys as a government are threatening us, sir. So what I am saying is we are free people and we will not take this anymore. And if anyone calls you to complain about it, you should tell them pe- people are enjoying a park and they should maybe do it too. Uh-huh. So, I agree with you. okay, so that's what I like to hear. I hope no one shows up. I hope you get the word out that nobody's hurting anyone. We're just at a park having a picnic, expressing freedom like we have in this in this land, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Great. I love hearing that. Thank you. What was your name, just for the record? I, I liked your answers, so I just want to make sure I give you credit. Deputy Vucinich. Thank you, Deputy. I appreciate that. You have an excellent Enjoy. rest of your day. Bye. Bye. Thanks for supporting my channel and work. Links to all the platforms you can find questionable authority on are in the description below.
and there's lots of ways to help me grow and dedicate more time to this channel. Of course, links to PayPal, Dash, Bitcoin, and others are listed, but you don't have to part with your capital to support me. There are ways like downloading the privacy-minded Brave browser using my link below and using it for 30 days, or sign up for a new Hive or Steam account and earn cryptocurrency for yourself for doing what you already do on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, and at the same time, I'll earn crypto for your upvotes and comments.